I'd just gotten into Wii hacking when an internet friend suggested that I rip my own games for emulators. He sent me a tutorial that would allow me to use my Wii to put GameCube games onto an SD card, which I could then put onto my computer to use on a Dolphin emulator. Which, if you don't know what Dolphin emulator is, it is an emulator that you can play Wii and GameCube games on your PC. This was so convenient, because my Player One socket on my Wii was broken, and it had been years since I could play any of those old games. Being the Sonic fan that I am, I immediately put Sonic Adventure 2 on my Wii, launched the program called Clean Rip, and then after about 20 minutes later it was done. I hadn't used Dolphin before, but I eventually figured it out and launched Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I eagerly configured my controls and started the hero storyline, thrusting myself immediately into City Escape. I played for days straight, not stopping. Well, I did stop to eat, sleep, and go to my part-time job, but that was about it. I was playing Chao Karate. My Chao, Tiny, delivered a spinning back kick to the opposer and won the match, granting me the final emblem in the game. I had all the emblems, all S rank, the secretary theme, all three Chao gardens, the alternative costumes, everything in the game. That's when it dawned on me that this is the second time I've done this in my lifetime, and it's time to put the game to rest. I couldn't do it though. I was so addicted to the game. I had to keep playing. So I launched the web browser and typed into Google search, Unlockable Secrets for Sonic Adventure 2. I found some hidden artwork, apparently Halloween costumes you could get when you, uh, you know, add Dreamcast DLC or whatever, new items for the Chow Garden, but one thing that really caught my attention, a Maria and Robotnik menu theme. My reaction was that of a child. Oh my god, a Maria theme? I learned quickly that you had to have a Game Boy Advance to do it. And you need 30,000 rings. I had 50,000 or so rings, but I didn't have a Game Boy Advance. I searched for an emulator solution, and someone made a modified version of Dolphin that could connect the Visual Boy Advance emulator. I downloaded Sonic Advance 2 ROM and launched it to my Visual Boy Advanced emulator, then launched up Sonic Adventure Battle 2 with the modified version of Dolphin. I went to the Chow Garden in both games to make sure it was connected, and then I went to the Black Market in Sonic Adventure Battle 2 and lo and behold, the Maria theme was connected. Success. I bought it immediately and flew to the options screen to apply the Maria theme. But when I did the game locked up and I saw a Windows 7 message, Dolphin EXE has stopped working. Windows is checking for a solution to the problem. It stayed for a few seconds until the program closed. A button showed up. All I could hope was that I didn't lose my progress. I relaunched the game and saw Maria in the background holding the pose from Shadow's past cutscene. Maria's image was fighting and tearing. The logos were very broken. At times you could see through parts of them. It looked like Emma's paint garbage. This was even more apparent when the opening movie started, showing the logo of the bridge of Radical Highway, and Maria was still in the background. The graphics were still fighting each other as buildings and stars seemed to be really broken. Even the sky was harsh and posterized with sharp blues and blacks. The special effects in the scene, like when it flashes lots of blue lights and says Sonic the Hedgehog, it just played lots of these animations at almost a regular speed. They were all done before it even showed Sonic. It looked horrible, and the music didn't help. The game was lagging ridiculously. I mean lagging so badly, I couldn't even launch Camtasia to start recording the phenomenon. The music was choppy and pitched, but almost regular speed. It was live and learn. I heard as the music finished before the camera zoomed in on Shadow's face. I assumed, since the game locked up somehow, made Maria's theme everywhere all the time. But after I got the horrible cutscene of Shadow, Maria's theme wasn't even on the menu. It was the Shadow the Hedgehog theme I had once before I did all this. Naturally, I wanted to turn it on, but I didn't have the Maria theme. I was baffled. If I didn't have the Maria theme, then what was happening in the opening movie? This also means it didn't save, which means I'd have to do the whole thing over again. I went to stage select and went to Chow Garden with Shadow, because I like him. I ran into the normal Chow Garden and was about to launch Visual Boy Advanced when I, I saw a new egg. I was frustrated, so I decided to throw the egg with some anger. When I picked up the egg, I decided to close Camtasia because the game was still lagging a bit. I threw it at the wall to the left of the Chow teleporter. The egg cracked and the Chow bounced out behind me. 
I turned around to look at this game, and it froze. It looked like the Chow with Maria's hair was staring at Shadow. Shadow was also looking at the Chow. I stared for a few seconds before I launched Task Manager to see if Dolphin was responding. Task Manager said it was running normally, so I messed with the controls a bit. It's not abnormal for Task Manager to say a frozen program is running, so I decided to close Dolphin from the Task Manager processes. Before I closed Dolphin, though, I took a screen capture of what was happening. I opened Paint.net to save the screenshot. I cropped it while I was there, because why not? And had a closer look at it. I thought I saw something really faint. I went ahead and saved the picture. Then I opened something called Curves, which is a color editor in Paint.net. Curves is something that helps you bring out the details of pictures. So, I decided to use it here. I played with it for a good ten minutes. Then I saw her. Maria was standing, staring, down, at Shadow. It was very faint, but it was there, on the right side of the screen, looking straight at Shadow. She was there. That was enough to make me breathe heavily. My mind was just blown. I didn't know what was happening. Should I, should I continue my pursuit? To unlock everything? Well, of course. Today's my day off, and I don't know what else I'll want to do. I relaunched the game, skipped that horrible opening movie, and decided to stop with the Maria theme. This time I wanted to see if I could find anything else wrong with this game, so I went to story mode, chose the dark story, and started Shadow's Past, the Radical Highway level. The cutscene with Eggman watching Shadow stand on the bridge played normally, so I decided to launch Camtasia and record once Shadow's segment of the cutscene started. How pathetic. Shadow says as this strange purple flash flew over the screen. Before they the cutscene was playing normally, until Maria's part showed up. The sound was messed up and the audio was saying, All people do it. I beg all the people do it. I beg all the people do it. I beg. But the word no was in Shadow's voice. The cutscene played over itself, and the moment it was overlapping, the cutscene stopped. It sort of went straight to the stage after that. Once I started playing the stage, I read, Break through the besieging military. But all the letters were grayed out except a couple. The letters were not grayed out. It was A and break the R and through the I and besieging and the M in military and the A in military. In the background, I saw Maria's head and shoulders from the top-down angle. Her eyes were really dark, almost black. And she was sort of staring at Shadow in the left corner of her eye. I took a screenshot, but closed Camtasia because Dolphin was lagging a bit. As I played through the stage, I never lost sight of Maria. Even if it was her back dress, feet, hair, one eye or a finger, she was always there, fading in and out. I decided to pause the game and launch Camtasia again. At this point, I didn't care about the lag, I just wanted to capture this. A few seconds after unpausing, I beat the gun robots, and the jailed prison cutscene started playing over the game. But the text and special effects weren't on it, just Gerald kind of sitting there, but it distorted the colors of the game. It was kind of like what happened with the intro, but Gerald was tearing with the graphics instead of fighting them. The cutscene clearly had dominance over the graphics. About halfway through the cutscene, Maria started fading in and out, in different poses and different angles. Even with everything that was happening, the game was playing perfect speed. One pose shocked me, however. Maria on her back, and her legs spread awkwardly, allowing the camera to catch the full shot of her special parts. Maria was blocking her face with her hands. I decided to pause the game and stop recording there. I saved the video and severely blurred out the part, so you can't make it out. I didn't realize until I unpaused the game, but I had been playing the entire time before I paused and actually rather well. I was impressed with myself. There was another pose that caught my eye though. One of Maria completely naked, holding her pose during the Shadow's Past cutscene on the control panel. They started getting more and more disturbing. Another pose was Maria naked, and she showed her legs were red and it looked like her hair. Blood? I thought. But Sonic Adventure 2 doesn't have blood graphics. Then again, this isn't a blood graphic. 
I screen capped it and cropped it down to only her legs. Once I beat the stage, I then became counting my rings. Instead of getting rank S, which I totally deserved, a shot of Maria's face was shown and the stage faded out. Normally, after the radical highway, the cutscene with Sonic the Hedgehog in shadow on top of the Bigfoot robot with the Chaos Emeralds plays. But that was completely skipped. It also didn't put me into the Egg Quarters level. In fact, it skipped Egg Quarters, Lost Colony, Weapons Bed, Security Hall, and started the cutscene before White Jungle. Shadow was walking through the forest, and the cutscene was normal. Shadow picked up his talkie, and Rouge's voice was playing normally. This is Rouge. I've got a small problem. But it was slightly different. The subtitles read, Gerald, all the people, do it. All the siente. The audio continued normally, but the next set of subtitles didn't say, I can't believe that I'm trapped inside a locked safe with a... They said, STS, on the ark, when I wake, when I sleep, they look, they do thing. It continued, instead of chaos emerald, I guess, I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter, it read. S, I did not know why they, it hurt, I cannot walk, I am, instead of treasure hunter, it said, rug, down, by Gerald, no. The countdown of Eggman's bomb showed on the screen. It flashed white, and Maria was shown leaning over the control panel. It does this cutscene normally, but the game froze, and the audio stopped. I thought Dolphin was lagging, so I opened Microsoft Notepad and jotted the subtitles, hoping to make some sense of them later. Also, I decided to launch Camtasia. It took a while to load up, but it didn't start recording, because nothing was happening anymore. I loaded up Task Manager to see how much of the CPU was being used. I could also keep Camtasia open or close it. The whole computer was peaking at 50% and idling at 10. That's excellent for the Dolphin emulator, especially when running Camtasia. Dolphin was still running according to Task Manager, so I decided to hit Enter. Windows sent me a beep to say that Enter doesn't do anything. I minimized Camtasia and clicked Dolphin and I hit Enter. Dolphin would get it. But before I hit enter, I noticed the stars behind Maria's head were kind of off looking. I stared at them for a minute, and uh, I noticed a few odd patches of stars were missing. So I took a screenshot, closed Camtasia, so I wouldn't kill my PC saving this, and I opened paint.net so I could see the screenshot. I stared at the shot for a few minutes. I noticed the patches of missing stars spelled the word kill. I saved the file, then I outlined stars in another picture. I clicked on Dolphin once again and pressed enter. The normal sound effect played as the loading level rose. Stage 9, White Jungle. First mission, cut through the jungle in 10 minutes. Like in Radical Highway, all of the letters were grayed out except for a couple. The word cut, they took T, and through, they kept R. They kept the E in the, in the J in jungle, the U in jungle, the L in jungle, and the exclamation point. I never made sense of any of these letters. I waited for the level to load when I started to see Maria in the sky with a blank expression, looking down on Shadow and this sort of toward the screen at the same time. I started observing every detail of her indescribable face. An ounce of logic must be left in my mind because I told myself not to play anymore. I came up with a great excuse to take a break try figuring out these strange messages. I started with the screenshot from Radical Highway. I only had to look for a second before I figured out what the letter spelled. Maria. Feeling pretty confident I wanted to take a shot as the subtitles were jotted down a moment ago. I first strung them all together in Windows Notepad. Gerald. All the people do. All the scientists. On the Ark. I wake. I sleep. They look, they do things. I did not want to know why they. It hurt. I cannot walk. I am drugged by Gerald. No. They look, they do things. When I sleep, when I wake, all the scientists do these things. All the scientists were doing something to her while she was sleeping? Something that hurt? Did they perform experiments on her? I know Gerald was trying to cure Maria's deficiency syndrome, 
Maybe he was trying to cure Maria during her sleep. Then I remembered the pictures of Maria naked. And her legs were red. Oh my god. I said aloud, Did Gerald and these other men commit acts of... Maria? I stood up and paced around the room for a while, occasionally glancing at the computer screen, refreshing my memory for the details of Maria's face. The experience was starting to make sense, though Gerald drugging Maria down and the scientist jumping her. It just, it's terrible. It's probably why she loves Shadow so much. He never touched her. This is starting to fill some of the plot holes in Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Though Shadow does mention Gerald building the Eclipse Cannon, and that the Project Shadow is indeed an experiment to make weapons of mass destruction, not to cure neuroimmunodeficiency syndrome. In the Japanese version of Sonic X, I remember that Maria was put into the Ark because of her disease. It was so contagious and deadly. If neuroimmunodeficiency syndrome is contagious, that means that the scientist on the Ark got it and thus couldn't leave. This also gives the reason for the gun, GUN Raid. Gerald gave them their weapons of mass destruction, Eclipse Cannon, and Shadow, so GUN killed everyone on board as not to spread the disease or use of any of these weapons. Gerald was arrested. However, it was probably G.U.N. It was probably so G.U.N. could ask him how to use Shadow and the Eclipse Cannon. Two pieces of information G.U.N. never got. If the scientists had the disease, that means they had nothing to live for, which explains their actions. Still, I find this hard to take in all at once. I mean, seriously? How old is Maria anyway? What could Sega be thinking? Would Sega put such a twisted plot element into a children's game? I don't think so. But now that I think about it, there are some holes in Sonic Adventure Battle 2 that just got filled. And a whole lot of garbage in Shadow the Hedgehog 2005 that never happened. For example, Shadow didn't lead Maria to a dead end where she was shot. The Shadow the Hedgehog opening suggests Maria in fact led Shadow to a cryogenic tube while already wounded, where she then launched Shadow out of the arc and died as she pulled up the lever. It's obvious in Sonic Adventure Battle 2 and Sonic X. While Shadow the Hedgehog rewrites Shadow's entire life and honestly isn't very dark plot-wise, I'm starting to believe Sonic Adventure Battle 2's plot was sketchy because Sonic Team had to remove all these gruesome plot elements at the last minute. Just think, Genocide City, like from Sonic 2? It's still the game that you have to hack to get in there. Once you got in there, all the level's graphics are gone. Linking both emulators together like that must have caused the game to load up like it was originally supposed to. I think Shadow the Hedgehog was solely existed to help cover up the nonsense of Sonic Adventure Battle 2. After my logic session, I found myself seated, staring at the details of Maria's face once again. I couldn't stop feeling sorry for her. She's such an innocent girl always valuing her experiences and providing light to any unsettling situation. For these men, no, these monsters, to crush her spirit, it's unhuman. Through some deep breathing, I found myself calm to begin playing the level. As I played, I couldn't keep my mind off Maria. The images of her sexual positions fading in and out of the background made the matter hard to ignore. The stars that say kill faded gradually into my memory and pieced themselves together with these sexual positions of Maria. My logic was functioning in a mind-numbing way, but it eventually came to two possible conclusions. That Maria was killed during one of these acts, or Maria could possibly wanted someone killed. This isn't making any sense, I thought to myself, but I remembered something that I had sealed away in my memory. When I was a child, I had a series of similar experiences with my neighbor. The game was Doctor. I still remember the words, let's play Doctor in the storage building. Her obsession with pine needles and blackberries. It's a painful subject. It went on for a couple of days before the parents of us both captured us in the act. I never saw her again, but I came to the decision to forgive her. I was damaged though, those experiences. Once I realized what had actually happened, it severely affected some decisions in my life. 
When I think real hard about what actually happened, it honestly wasn't a terrifying experience. Demented, weird, and somewhat scarring, yes, but I had so much help and counseling from that point that it was no longer a problem. This girl, Maria, she was on a space station full of men. Her experience was really horrible, and she didn't have the counseling or escape that I had. She died on the Ark, used as a rag doll, then thrown in the garbage. I wish I could help her. I could bring her to the same realizations that I've come to if we could have only met. Alas, this is only a video game, but I couldn't shake the feeling of the connection I have with Maria. I decided to do whatever Maria would have me do. Anything to clean her face of this hellenness. Once I beat White Jungle, I got to the rank with Maria's face, and the game instantly flashed to a cutscene of Sonic and Shadow going super. But Maria was fading in and out of the scene. I decided to bring up Camtasia, but I couldn't start recording till about halfway through it. At this point, the camera had completely zoomed in on Shadow, cutting Sonic out. When the cutscene ended, the game took me to a completely black scene. Shadow's animation was frozen, his shading was bland, and his power aurora was missing. Live and Learn was playing, but severely slowed down and choppy. The background was fading in and out, out of many different harsh, burning colors. I saw Maria in the background, always on the top of the colors. She looked like she was falling while holding her chest and her shading was very darkly colored. I pressed the up arrow on my keyboard and started moving forward. The controls were very stiff and it didn't feel like Sonic Adventure 2 at all. The camera was stiff too. I saw a wooden chair with Gerald sitting on it. Some white text appeared at the top of the screen. It said, for all the people on that planet, kill him. Right then, I knew murdering Gerald would be the best thing for Maria. I floated around him for a second, looking at his ankles. He didn't look exactly like the Gerald in the cutscenes. Maybe he was a beta model for him or something? I don't know. After a second, I thought some more text appeared as the original text disappeared. Shadow, do it for me, so we can be happy. I pressed X on the keyboard, which I had pinned as the GameCube's A button. Shadow's pose changed to the pose as he hold with an attack. The game froze. Thank you was shown in white text with a black background. The font on the bottom of the right corner of the screen. After a minute, I started pressing buttons. Pressed every control for the game and every button on the keyboard, but nothing happened. I decided to save the recording so I wouldn't lose it. I closed Dolphin, started recording again, and then I opened Dolphin and loaded Sonic Adventure Battle 2. A thank you screen was immediately there. No Sega logo, no license by Nintendo, just thank you. Maria wanted to kill Gerald for doing all the things that he'd done to her. They were holding her, doing her. It's disgusting. But helping Maria carry out her revenge on Gerald made me happy. Now Maria can rest in peace. Maybe that's why Sonic Adventure 2 says, rest easy heroes. But instead of saying that, it says, thank you.
robots in his path. Stay tuned Sounds for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. <laughs> How pathetic.